our top story. DLSC sponsors first DLSP academic fair. DLSC partners with Globe Telecom for the football field artificial turf. DLSC Sumobot team wins national robotics championship. DLSC Junior Lady Spikers completes a three-peat. The Pope resigns. Free prom fashion show. I'm Anthony Gilio. And I'm Karen Phil for Zoom News TV. Geniuses ready to roll. De La Salle Zobel showcases the amazing projects of different Lasallian schools all over the Philippines. Here is a report. This year's Wiz Up is certainly going to be different. It will be an inter Lasalle academic fair where different Lasalle schools in Luzon will be participating. DLSZ will be the host of the event that will happen on January 22 in the CPA lobby. 40 delegates from De La Salle Canlubang, De La Salle College Antipolo, De La Salle Araneta, De La Salle Lipa, and La Salle Green Hills will be coming over to witness the event and show their best works. In line with the recent centennial celebration, 100 projects from the said schools, including our very own in here in De La Salle Santiago Zabel, will be displayed. There will be a robotics demo, care of the De La Salle Santiago Zabel, a debate, care of La Salle Green Hills, and one to two variety shows per school. The academic fair aims to strengthen the relationship of the different LaSalle schools with each other and promote a spirit of unity. The exhibit will be up until the 30th of January. Globe Telecom sponsors an all-weather artificial turf for the DLZ's football pitch. Mr. Alberto de la Razaba, Brother Dennis Magbanwa, FSC, Mr. Ramon Garcia, and Brother Jose Lazaro Rodriguez, FSC, unveiled the two Globe logos and printed on the football field. The partnership between De La Salle's and Santiago Zobel School and Globe Telecom Incorporated was sealed through the signing of the Memorandum of Agreement last September 20, 2012. Brother Dennis Magbanwa FSC, Mr. Ernest Koo, and Mr. Ramon Garcia were present for this momentous occasion. Hence, the football pitch shall now be named DLZ Globe Football Field. DLZ and its football players will definitely benefit from the replacement of natural grass with an all-weather artificial turf. Artificial turf fields can be played on nearly all weather conditions without impact on the field surfaces unlike natural grass. Playing fields that face surface damages due to climate change. Other appealing features include durability and efficiency. The artificial turf's maintenance fee is reduced to 75% and it eliminates chemical application and the need for additional water consumption, thus strengthening further the school's environmental advocacies. With all these in sight, grass will definitely be greener with the addition of Globe's blue ribbon stamp. And here's Nikki Angeles reporting. Good evening, I'm Nikki Angeles. I am now here at the DLSC Globe football field for its inauguration and blessing. How does our new football field benefit our environmental initiative? Well, first, the football field, um, actually maintaining it is very costly if it, was, it, was, it, it were real grass. Um, so we've, the past years we've been spending for um, for fertilizer, for water, and sometimes you don't really know what the companies would put in here. For example, there goes commercial fertilizer, and even the use of water could be too much, especially when it's summertime. Um, so it is really a big savings. Uh, we don't use, we will not be using a lot of water. Actually, just rainwater would be fine if on a rainy day, and uh, no more fertilizer because it's uh, these are this is all artificial turf. Uh, and then I think one of the best things would be that um, we can use it all year round. So the, the savings that you get as a school translates to many things that you can do for other things in, in the school also uh, for other projects that you have. So um, this is really a big improvement from the uh, previous uh, football field that we had and uh, maintaining it is easier this time. Uh, you'll see that they will just comb, 
comb, uh, comb this, uh, this uh, area instead of uh, really plant, replanting again. And now people might be, might be thinking that it's uh, problematic because it's not real grass. Well, true it's not real grass, but actually we're really helping the environment because we are not uh, trying to use any more water. That, well, and then lastly, of course, we don't use fertilizers at this time. Thank you very much, Rodan. Why did you decide to partner with DLSD on this project? You know, we, um, as a company, have been looking to try and support and give back a bit to the community. And then, you know, there are very many uh, sports out there that, that um, people are trying to develop. And when we started to talk to um, LaSalle and started to understand some of the sports initiatives, we felt that it was a great opportunity to be able to try and enable all the uh, developmental activities that they were thinking about and, and what better way to do it than to provide a, um, a home, a pitch that um, they could undertake all of the uh, uh, initiatives and programs that they were thinking about. And on a personal note, since I'm from La Salle, I take personal pride and, and, and gratification on being able to support the alma mater. What are the goals and objectives? of the programs that we want to undertake. Um, you know, it's, like I said, giving back to the community. Um, and football, I think, is now starting to develop um, a following again. Uh, I think it's great for formation for, for the younger um, people today, both men and, and women. Um, and we're trying to assist in efforts that impact more grassroots types of efforts, not just in the big cities, not just in the big leagues, but also outreach into the provinces and, and to try to help develop the sports program and in particular football as, as a sport. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Once again, I'm Nikki Angeles reporting for Zoom News TV. It was real steel, and when robots collide, DLZ comes on winning the National Robotics Championship. Here's Lalek Pojeda reporting. Congratulations to Davison Ko of Batch 2017 and Rafael Manuel Ramos, Batch 2019, for having won the championship in Sumobot 1 kilogram category during the recently concluded 2013 National Robotics Championship held last January 26, 2013 at the Mega Trade Hall, SM Mega Mall. They will be competing in the international robotics competition in Denver, Colorado in December 2013. This is Log Peda Resume News TV. Ready, set, spike. The DLZ Junior Lady Spikers complete a historic three-peat by winning the 2013 UAAP Volleyball Championship. De La Salle Bell completes a three-peat in the UAAP Girls Volleyball Championship at the PAC UE Caloocan Gym. The Junior Lady Spikers won the best of three series, 2-1 two to one for the league best ninth crown. The 5-foot D, a top prospect in college play, ended her high school career with a flourish, scoring back-to-back -back kills for La Salle Bell to help seal the victory. La Salle Bell's three straight championships is the longest Montenlupa-based squad since the Junior Lady Archers registered a five-peat in 1994-1998 under coach Edwin Leva. Junior Lady Archers playmaker Andy Narciso was named the season MVP and best setter, while Don Macandili was the tournament's best lib. D, meanwhile, bagged the best block honors, taking charge for the team in the fourth frame. And this is Gina Dyrit for Zoom News TV. Pope Benedict XVI hangs the mitre in a shocking announcement as he offered his resignation as the Bishop of Rome. Here is Lalek Pojeda reporting. In a stunning announcement, Pope Benedict XVI has expressed his desire to resign as Bishop of Rome, a decision that takes effect on February 28, 2013 at 8 p.m. Pope Benedict XVI has cited his advanced age as cause for his resignation. The announcement was made during a consistory of cardinals on February 10, Italian time, during which he also expressed his intention to live a life of prayer in service to the Church. His unexpected announcement was received globally with much anticipation on whom his successor will be. The election of who will begin on mid-March. This is Log Peda for Zoom News TV. Prom is coming up! 
which is why the fashion bloggers, in cooperation with the jockeys of the microphone, held a pre-prom fashion show entitled Walking the Streets of Liberty. Designers from the Philippine Fashion Week, Joyce Pilarski and John Guarnes, showcased their clothes, which are to be modeled by some DLSD students and teachers. Here is my report. As you all know, prom season is coming up. We are now here at the CPA lobby for this pre-prom fashion show, entitled Walking the Streets of Liberty. What can we expect for this fashion show? For this fashion show, designers like Joyce Pilarski, John Guarnes, Arnold Galang, and Dimple Lim are showcasing their their, their designs so that students would have an idea what to wear for prom. What is in for this prom season? For this season, it's more of flowy dresses, long dresses. There are also short dresses and more of sequins and it's really more of the corset type. What is your collection all about? Uh, for this time, I would like to um, showcase my collection for uh, cocktail dresses because I think um, Students are, are you know, kind of tied to their budget, so it will help them to minimize their budget for the short dresses. I think that would be more practical for students. Hi, I'm Nikki Angeles with Joyce Pilarski. What do you expect for this prom season? What are the upcoming trends? The upcoming trend is, is of course, the um, 1950s look, sexy, dairy, and um, something that will make her very, very uh, uh, elegant and um, she will be a standout, something like that. What is your expectation for what is your inspiration for your collection? My inspiration is always beautiful flowers in the nature and my garden because I know that uh, these are the things that uh, some uh, the woman needs. Thank you very much. I'm Nikki Angeles reporting for Zoom News TV. And that was our month in review. I'm Karina Phil. And I'm Anthony Gilio. Thank you for watching. And remember to keep in touch with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Follow us at Zoob News TV.